Hello, this is Carl Renneman. Today I want to take you through a presentation called The Best You Can Be. So many times we wonder, how can I be the best person that I can be? How can I be accepted? What can I do to accept other people? What makes me, me, and unique. Well, in this presentation, I'm going to share some thoughts, some tips, and, and I hope they help. I hope that as we go through this presentation, you guys can get some insight of how you can become a better person. Again, this is Carl Renneman, and I want to thank you or coming to this video. And I promise this presentation will be one of the best presentations you guys have seen. And you guys will not regret watching this. Again, thank you. This is Carl Renneman. Today I want to talk about South Earth and how we can bring self-worth into our lives. Self-worth is a foundation of fulfilling one's life. When we value ourselves, we set the stage for personal growth, strong, relation strong relationships, and a sense of purpose. Understanding our values in life. We all have gifts that we bring to this life. We have strengths. Everyone has talents. Everyone has experiences that make them unique. Recognizing our talents is worthwhile and it begins with acknowledging our strengths. So the talents that we have is is awesome. It's amazing. But having strengths is also important because strengths also can help you fill up your talents. So, for example, I'm a singer by trade, and that's a gift that I have. One of the strengths I have is I set time and practice each and every day. So for me, strengths could be putting in the time, putting in the effort. Because I know if I put in the effort, that talent is going to be become strong. Also, we have to also remember that we also have experiences. We all have positive and negative experiences in life. And those experiences shape us to become the person that we want to become. If we accept them as part of our journey, and not only are we acknowledging who we are inside 
of those negative experiences that you've had, perhaps you can help somebody that is experiencing with that same thing and help them through it. Because one negative experience for one person, and if that person can help another person through those experiences that may be the same, then that would be helping a person become a success and help them overcome that challenge or that experience that they are having. Elf love. Cultivate a deep sense of love and acceptance. When we love ourselves, and I'm not just talking about being egotistical or being arrogant or taking selfies of ourselves. What I mean by loving ourselves is appreciating who we are. Accepting that, yes, I have challenges. Yes, I have strengths. And when we accept those, we begin, we begin to love ourselves as a person. We begin to cultivate habits that are good. And not only that, when we create habits that we know are good and that affect our lives in a positive way, then we can take those negative habits and just toss them away and replace the bad habits with the good habits. Over humming self Im- imitating beliefs. This is huge. Now, I want you to take a moment and examine your thoughts. I want you to take a moment and to identify some beliefs that you have that may not be uplifting to you as a person. I want you to put them on a piece of paper. And are things that you've been telling yourself that Maybe negative. Are you telling yourself that you can't do something? Are you telling yourself that something is not possible? Once you have identified those beliefs. I then want you to take another piece of paper and I want you to write down all the things that you know you can do, all the things that you know you are capable of doing, and when you push yourselves things that you know are possible. I'll tell you something. And these two pieces of paper will help you. They will help you replace your negative beliefs with your positive beliefs. So basically, so basically what I'm trying to say is 
something that you know you can't do, and you take that to the other piece of paper that you have and that you wrote down your beliefs, and if you put those beliefs into action, and you can then terminate a negative beliefs and push yourselves to things that you thought that maybe were impossible. Self criticism. Now I used to sell I used to criticize myself every single day. Be kind to yourself. Especially when you make mistakes. A savior the Lord Jesus Christ taught to have compassion on ourselves, to be kind to ourselves, to love ourselves. Even when you make mistakes, it's okay to make mistakes. You have to be your own friend. You have to tell yourself, hey, I screwed it up. And it's okay because tomorrow's another day and I'm going to make sure I do everything I can to achieve what I need to achieve. And it just, it just, Love yourself. We are always critics of ourselves. Stop being a critic. Recognize your inner voice and know that you are worth it and that you are trying. And if you make effort, that too is important. Identifying strengths. Reflect on your accomplishments and skills and positive and positive traits. What are you naturally good at? What brings you joy? Develop strengths. Invest time. Invest reading. Invest in things that will help uplift you. Because I promise that as you develop strengths and you practice the things that bring you joy, and you are becoming a person of change and becoming a, a person of positive, of positivity. Also, Celebrating your small wins, recognizing your, your progress, every step you make is a success. This is very true. Every step that you make is a step to success. Give yourself positive reinforcement. Tell yourself, it is worth it. I can make it. And also, if you're self gratitude, pat your own, pat yourself on the back. Tell yourself that you are proud that you made that step, that you fulfilled that challenge, and that now you know it's possible. Surrounding yourselves with positive influences. Have supportive friends that will uplift you. People that will not uplift you and not give you the time of day, those are the kind of friends you do not need in your life. Those are not the kind of people that will make you happy on a daily basis. Have mentors and coaches that will help you 
get to that finish line. Because I promise you, the more mentors and coaches that you have, you will reach that finish line. And then be part of a positive community. Be part of a group that will help you along the way. Be part of a group that will help you reach your successes in life. And then, of course, becoming the best version of yourself. The journey of self-worth is ongoing. It's about continuous growth, learning and embracing your unique potential with dedication and self-compassion. You can become the best version of yourself. And with that, if you take these steps and apply them, you will become a person of positive outcome, of positive change. You will become the best version of yourself. Again, my name is Carl Renneman, and I want to thank you for letting me share this presentation with you. Thank you, and I hope you guys achieve all you can in life. Thank you so much.